an international tech school for women trans and non-binary people. We're headquartered in Barcelona. We have a campus in Malaysia. And by the end of this year, we'll be in Latin America. We source and train women plus in areas like product management, data science, Android development. And we help companies tap into new talent pools. We're wanting to bridge two things, diversity and inclusion and technical talent development. Our new partners, Bumble. Uh, what can I say? We officially started the Bumble Tech Academy program, which brought together, again, uniting many various forces. Bumble wanted to support and encourage the transition of underrepresented talent into the tech sector. They wanted to increase diversity and representation in Bumble Tech teams. They wanted to dispel the myth of the talent pipeline. Of the students out there, we call them BTA students. Could you please lift your arm? Where you at? Yeah, where you at? Oh, welcome and congratulations. I have spent most of my career, if not all of it, looking to build unity, empathy, and solidarity with refugees or people affected by displacement or conflict or stateless people. And those are people who, for various reasons, um, have lost the right to nationality. It's very common between the people I've met and the groups that I've worked with, is that you know, one day you are a human being with an entire life, and the next day, you are reduced to a number. Identity is something that's ever moving. It's not a fixed concept. What then is the role of storytellers? We're all storytellers. On September 2nd, um, 2015, there was a Turkish uh, photographer called um, Nirofel Damir. She was on the beach where Alan was found, and she was a witness to that tragic scene. She called that scene, she, she described the beach as a, as a graveyard for children. A director, a former director at an organization called Human Rights Watch shares the image of Alan on his Twitter account and the image goes viral. Soon after, news agencies pick up the story and boom, the entire world is talking about um, the refugee migrant. The thing is, empathy is absolutely everywhere. Think about the millions of acts of kindness that you witness on a day-to-day -day basis. This applies to everywhere. Um, it's just that sometimes the narrative of hate is so much louder that we think that the narrative of, com of compassion is not there, but it's there and it's very loud. I believe in the power of storytelling and its ability to build a kinder, more compassionate world. I truly believe in it. What if we collectively decide to exhibit um, uh, you know, extreme compassion, extreme empathy, extreme solidarity with people, who, you know, whose names we can pronounce or, you know, people who don't look like us or sound like us. Bundle code up partnership, you know, this is more than a collaboration, I think. This is truly an action of unity, empathy and solidarity. And in my experience, it goes a very, very long way. Thank you. no fear of perfection, you'll never reach it. It's not me who said that, it was Marie Curie. She paved the way for many brave women, in wine specifically. There were times in Spain where the winemaking degree did not exist, so uh, women took the chemistry degree to become winemakers. They had to fight, they had to gain respect and recognition to get access to winemaking technology, which was traditionally the technical domain relegated to men. And tonight, I would love to pay an homage to three of these very brave uh, winemaking women. So massive thanks to Code Up and Bumbled and to all of you for coming. Enjoy and salute.